1993 Volkswagen Eurovan. Uh, common place to have an antifreeze leak is this little junction here. Uh, this part um, sits right on the front of the engine and it, it gets a lot of heat in this area. Uh, and this whole unit tends to um, warp. Uh, as you can see, that is not that is not a perfect circle. And uh, upon initial inspection, it maybe looks like it's supposed to be like that. However, a new part, as you can see here, is a perfect circle. So this is definitely not what it's supposed to look like. Now, when you do this job, um, I've noticed there's a few videos online that say you can take the belly pan off and uh, get at it from underneath. Personally, I really don't like laying on my back, especially having antifreeze drip in my face. So this whole radiator unit, it's a beautiful design, hinges on these plastic hinges here. Uh, there's one on the top and bottom. You initially, uh, you initially have to pull off the front grill. There's three Phillips head screwdriver screws there, and then the uh, the mount, um, which is like what the hood latches to, basically. Um, once those two things are removed, the whole radiator and the condenser, everything lift up and rock forward. Um, that gives a ton of room to do this job. Once you uh, get in there. Uh, there's only the two sensors. Um, blue is on the top here, and yellow is on the bottom. They're secured by two, by uh, each one has its own small little clip. You just pull the clip out, and the sensor kind of wiggles free. Be careful that you don't damage the sensors or anything when you're removing them. Uh, and then once you have the um, the bolts out, the two, two little bolts, it's just the uh, hose clamp that is in the way. So it's a pretty easy job. Uh, just make sure that this O-ring is, uh, they recommend to put antifreeze on it before installing, just to make sure it's not dry when it goes in, but make sure to, to take your time and clean up the surface between uh, this unit and the, the engine, just so it gets a good seal. But really easy, a ton of room. People talk about these Euro vans like there's not enough space to work on them when in reality, you just shift this whole core forward and the five cylinders right in your face. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful. Good luck with your project. Have a great day.